Scott Walker coming to you from Riverside, California today. I'm at the Von Schweikert factory here with my main man, Damon Von Schweikert. What's up, Damon? Hey, welcome. Uh, thanks for coming by. Yeah. Um, we are actually picking up some speakers today. And since he's here and I'm here, uh, we're going to talk about the uh, Endeavor ESE. We call them the ESEs. Right. Okay. Endeavor What's Special Edition. Special Edition. Special yes. Edition. Um, so, Colby, uh, at some point, come on up and, and, and pan up and down to get the, the, the detail of the speaker, but let's talk about the ESEs, mm -hmm. okay? First of all, the speaker's not believable the way it sounds. It is so natural sounding, this speaker is. Right. I had a guy come into my store, a customer, by the mm -hmm. way, and I think we had this paired up with Solution. Uh, they're integrated. Right. He told me, he goes, Scott, he goes, I've been in this hobby for 40 years. He goes, that's the best sound I've ever heard out of a stereo system. That's amazing. This speaker with a solution integrated. Love hearing that. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. So this this speaker, you guys, what is the price point? Oh, hold on. Let me, let, let me, I, I, <laughs> hold on. Now I'm you getting ahead of myself. You guys Okay, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, all right. So there's three different models on the Endeavors, right? Correct. And the Endeavor is your entry-level speaker model. That's right. Okay, so you make an Endeavor, it, the entry-entry level Endeavor, mm -hmm. which is how much money? It's 12000 Yes. for the E3 Mark II. E3 Mark II, and that's only available in the walnut finish. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Then you have... It's same kind of shape. Yes. Same kind of driver layout, different, yes. different components. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you but have... full range. Full range. Yeah. Which is and Actually, it's an amazing speaker for the yeah. money. Then you have the Endeavor Reference. Mm -hmm. That's not this speaker. It's the same driver complement yep. and same guts. So same it's the same everything. speaker, yes. but it's a wood veneer, walnut veneer, and you have actually right. a black walnut veneer also. Correct. Okay. Correct. So that speaker's available in nice veneer, walnut veneer, and, and a black. Mm -hmm. Then you have at, the- at, at 22K. 22K on, on that speaker. Right. Then you have the gloss version, mm -hmm. which is available in these high gloss finishes. Right. This, uh, Same finish as we put on our Ultra line of products. It's bespoke, so customers have the opportunity to yeah. pick out whatever color they want, yeah. and we'll put it on there. So my, my, the pair at my store is um, AMG Cardinal Red. Yeah. Absolutely <laughs> lights out color. It's, it's, it's one of my amazing, favorite reds. Yeah. Amazing, yeah. amazing color. Yeah. So what color is this? This is Aston Martin uh, Arizona bronze. Oh my God. Yeah. So Colby, yeah. Yeah. this is the new hot color, color that we've been showing at shows. Well, I guess so, because you got, yeah. <laughs> you must have 10 pairs there, back here. You it guys suddenly are, became the most popular color. Yeah. Yeah. It is beautiful. Yeah. And yeah, it's just so room friendly. It is. Yeah. It fits in decors. Yeah. It kind of just gets lost when you want it to, and then stands out when but you want it's it to. But it's still beautiful, luxurious, yeah. and yeah, for all the sure, things for you sure. Want. So let's dive into the speaker um, yeah. and have you explain the details of the speaker uh, for the viewers out there, right. um, and to get a better grasp of sort of what what, what this is all about. I so, think, so, so, so let's start from the beginning. Like, how did the Endeavor line come about? Right. And then how did you guys incorporate it as sort of your entry level sort of uh, uh, a line? Because you, you guys have the Endeavor line, mm -hmm. okay, which has three models. Right. You have the VR line, right. which has three models. Yeah. It's getting there. And soon to yeah. maybe, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. have another model pretty yeah. soon, maybe. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then you have the Ultra Line, which right. has four models. Very fleshed out, yeah. So, um, how did this come about? Because I know your dad had, oh my God, so many models back in the day. Sure. And you guys just consolidated those down uh, into the Endeavor line, basically. Right. And wound up with this design, which is amazing. Uh, for, for the profile and the size of the speaker, I, I, I'm not aware of a speaker that does more sound wise right That's with this footprint thing. yeah so you know, way back in the 70s we were making you know full range speakers we've already always had that as our focus and you know we were living in southern california we have ranch style homes that here, here back then everyone had a giant 25 by 35 foot den yeah and that's where all the sound rooms yeah. were so we had big speakers and we didn't see a problem with it yeah. but as we started selling across the u.s 
uh, it, we started finding out that this big speaker wasn't going to work in the majority of home environments. Yeah. So doing what we could and finding ways to be more um, efficient in the cabinet size, yet still getting that that deep base, yeah. that, uh, that, that authority, yeah. the power yeah. and control, um, but in a smaller footprint was critical. Yeah. Now, this Endeavor line is the culmination of decades of work, yeah. and, um, and, it, and it demonstrates just how full range a speaker can be in a very small footprint. Um, so what I tell people is, um, now you know at my store, we have your small shock waves, the little, right. mm -hmm. the little subwoofers. Yeah. Okay. You make three different model subwoofers. You make the small footprint ones, mm -hmm. which have what, eight inch drive? 10 inch. 10 inch. Yeah. Then you make the, the, the shock wave Mark VS, twos. the yeah. shock wave, the 12 inch shock wave, you make the 15 inch shock wave. Correct. We have the 12 inch shock waves in my reference room downstairs. And then we have the small ones upstairs right. on these speakers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I am not kidding you. It, yeah. Lights out yeah. performance. Now, if you remember, hold on, hold mm -hmm. on. If you remember, we used my red speakers at the Florida Audio Expo Correct. a couple years, years ago in yeah. a little tiny room yeah. with those two small subs. Mm -hmm. the, our partner in the room, I'm not going to mention who it was, but our partner in the room was not there the moment we set up the room and right. we you know, tucked the subs in the corner. Right. He yeah. wasn't even aware that there were subs in the room. Right. That's how transparent and how much they disappear with this speaker. So, right. guys, what I'm saying to you is that if you ever wind up with a pair of Endeavors, you should inquire with us about some of their small subs to mm -hmm. supplement the bass mm -hmm. and balance out the bass pressure in your room. Right. We've done that in several um, customers' homes, of which uh, right. I think Leif has gone maybe with us, but yeah. people are very happy with it. And yeah. at my store, it's not believable, the results. Well, what you're describing is what we call the ARC technology, the, um, the active room correction. And uh, you're right. The, I mean, these, these will, for most rooms, yeah. this is all the base you yeah. need. Yeah. But if you want to get the best, um, uh, the best and deepest base without going, you know, with tons of passive yeah. um, room treatment, the, those little subs will give you that. Okay, so, so here's the dilemma, right? Mm -hmm. People come in to my store, they hear d different speakers, they hear this, yeah. and they're like, holy shit, that is, that is like a glimpse of heaven, yeah. right? That is a, a, a big league speaker, but in a small footprint, yeah. and, mm -hmm. and in the realm of affordability, right. more affordable. Right. So, you know, there, and then to your point about the subwoofers, how do you give them a more full range experience right. Um, and in a that's, bigger room or whatever. exactly, yeah, and that's exactly. adding adding the small subs in the back. Yeah. These on their own are amazing. Yeah, that guy listened to him with the solution. Yeah, we didn't have the small subs at yeah. that time. Right. Uh, no, and, 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 and that's that's the thing. The um, the you know we we've we had some pretty interesting demos we've done recently. Last year at Capital Audio Fest, as you know, we have that oh, yes. big giant room. Yes. It's uh, thirty five yes. by by almost forty five yeah. feet. And these were the main speakers. Yeah, it's crazy. Now, what, what I what what I what's worth pointing out, and correct me if I'm wrong, but these scale incredibly well, depending on what electronics you put in front Definitely. of them, right? For sure. For we sure. we had almost uh, I think a million dollars of equipment yes. in that room yeah. in front of these speakers, yeah. and yet, you know, it was incredible. Well, actually, uh, Damon, all of your speakers, um, these included, mm -hmm. uh, really respond well to low noise, low coloration right. electronics. Right. I mean. We sell some of the highest end, low noise, low coloration electronics there are. We sell Solution. We're number one dealer for there for years on end. I have Solution actually in both of my rooms right now right. on your speakers. Nice. And it's, it's amazing. Right. Um, JMF Audio, right. also very low Just noise. Just showed with them in Dallas. Great, great sound. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy good sound. Yeah. I, 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 um, uh, you know, VAC is actually a low noise, low, low yep. uh, coloration. Mm -hmm. um, even though it's vacuum tubes, it's still very low coloration, very yeah. low noise equipment. Yeah, you know? love it. And, and on and on, man. We, right. we, we, we have tons of them. Uh, but um, okay, so let's talk about the driver complement in a sure. second. And um, uh, we'll look at the back of the speaker here. So just 
What kind of tweeter comp? What what what, is, what kind of tweeter is this? Okay, so that's the Brilliant uh, tweeter, the exact same tweeter we use in our all of our flagships. Yeah. Um, so it's the exact tweeter as in, in a the several ultra hundred thousand ultra wow. yeah three hundred thousand dollars speakers. Do How do you do that? Because it, I mean, okay, so the whole the whole the whole thing about doing you know, it's it's kind of easier to, in some ways. Life may disagree with me of doing a cost no object, object speaker because yeah. you can just throw the kitchen sink at yeah. it. It's trying to hit a price point really forces the uh, mother of invention, yes. right? Yeah, it does. So, so I think we're quite good at discerning how to spend the, the, the customer's budget yeah. on the cost of yeah. goods. Yeah. And that tweeter is critical. Yeah, it's part it of sure it. Is. So that's why we're willing to put that much of the budget into it because it, it you know, as you can yeah. see, it, it, yeah. it really affects the overall yeah. performance and allows it to complete, compete in the league many times yeah. its price. That's true. Yeah. What about the mid-range? Uh, Kevlar mid-range. It's yeah. amazing. We have a phase plug in there. Yeah. Um, very fast, very very yeah. um, low cone yes. distortion. Yeah. So you know when you listen to it, like all of our speakers, they have a very specific wave launch, yeah. and um, you get that spooky sound stage. Yeah. Uh, if you notice, we're all about minimum baffles here. Yes. So we get that wave launch and that spherical yeah. wrap that anchors with each other first and then with a the room. Yeah. And it gives you a sweet space, not a sweet spot. Yeah. But tonality, oh my gosh. And you can it stand is. a foot away from the yeah. speaker and you can't hear the individual drivers. Yeah. The integration is No, flawless. no, no. It is amazing. It is an yeah. amazing design. You guys have nailed it on this. Um, yeah. Talk about the woofers a sec. Dual woofers. Yeah. We prefer um, smaller, faster woofers. Yes. Yes. Um, it's going to give you, when they're implemented properly, it's going to give you so much more resolution attack on the front end, but yeah. a lot of micro decay on the yeah. back end. Yeah. And they start and stop accurately. So, yeah. you know, they're not stepping on the next wave launch. And it just works in this design. Oh, my gosh, yeah. 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 So you have, on the back of the speaker here, mm -hmm. you have your, your um, rear ambient right. technology. Why don't you yeah. talk, talk to the... Uh, the viewers yeah. about the rear ribbon tweeter and how you adjust it right yeah. now. Yeah, so we call the Syntology Air. We've been doing it since the early 90s. Um, uh, ambient inverse replication. Basically, you know, uh, the concept of our speakers is to inversely decode what a microphone encodes. Yeah. And to do that, it's got to be a spherical wave launch. We don't yeah. want speakers that are beaming at you and they're just hitting left and right of your shoulders yeah. and you're kind of rigid in that space. Um, we believe that to have the, the proper psychoacoustics, it's got to have that spherical wave launch. Yeah. Well, as you know, with mids and woofers, that's not a problem. Yeah. It naturally propagates in a spherical pattern. With the, uh, with the tweeter, it's a much more focused, higher frequency range. Yeah. And one of the things I encourage people to do when you listen to a Von Schweikert is get way off axis of it. Yeah. Listen from the side. The polar response yeah. on this thing is remarkable. It's, and there's not a real sweet spot. No. The whole back, <laughs> right. two thirds of the room is sweet spot. Yeah. yeah, you can walk, you can be far outside the triangle and still have yeah. a center image yeah. because of what we're doing yeah. here. Now, the attenuation, like you said, is critical yeah. because uh, you know some rooms you may have it, you know, many feet out yeah. in the room. Yeah. Other ones might be right up against the wall. Some rooms might have yeah. absorptive material yeah. or reflective. Yeah. So That's you know, true. when you're setting it up, you set it up just with the front speakers on. You get your imaging right, yeah. your base, yeah. and all that, and then you slowly bring this on, not unlike a super tweeter yeah. um, right up until the point that you can hear it and then if you like you can back off of that and what that does is it gives you so much deeper sound stage sure and more space around sure your does. images yeah so. sure does sure. Yeah. and then of course you have a ported design here which yeah. uh I'm not gonna say it cheats but <laughs> it reinforces the energy from the cabinet yeah. right? right out the back and allows a lot more flexibility in where you can place the speaker in the room also. Correct. Even though they're reported, these can go right up against the wall. And yeah. the reason why is, um, you know, our technology, our a global access integration network, and specifically how we design the drivers, it's all about getting a quick start-stop. Yeah. Um, and so we use um, uh, several different gradient materials to damp the internal of the cabinet. But this, we call this an aperiodic vent. So even though it's tuned, Whatever energy is left over after that wave launch, yeah. it just dissipates out the yes. back. You can put a piece of paper here, and it's yeah. it's barely yeah. going to move, even when they're playing at, yeah. at, at very high levels. Yeah. Um, so that's why room placement is so critical. Um, one of the challenges of a smaller room is the fact of barriers, right? So you want to get yourself away from the speaker as much as you can. Yeah. So having a speaker that can wall load or corner load yeah. and, and still be linear is critical. Um, Super high quality are these WBTs? Correct. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. This is how beautiful. Do you, high performance. Using German super duper uh, 
uh, Biney post th on this? This is How just what you can it? see. Inside is all German uh, crossovers and uh, Colby, get networks up on and inductors. Look at those things. Yeah. Million dollar speakers don't use. Uh, it's. Uh, binding posts of that quality. Like I say, we, we, we invest the customer's money where we think it's going to have the biggest impact on the yeah. performance. Lastly, as you know, I'm a huge fan of the paint and the finish mm -hmm. of the speakers. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking at the speaker and I see 10 pairs behind me in the mirror finish. Yeah. Is the, 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 the finish of the speakers is not believable. It's, it's amazing you. how you guys do that. And, I'm, and I love that we can get it down to this price point and still give the bespoke yeah. opportunity for it's people. It's truly bespoke. You know, when, you know to me, when, you, when you're buying something at this level, um, it, you know, it needs to be special. Yeah. And what's more special than picking out your own color? It's true. Um, lastly, and, and of course, we have the 10 or 12 standard colors, right? Yeah. We've got the black and the mm -hmm. silvers yeah. and the white and the gloss black mm -hmm. and blah, blah, blah. But then we have what I call the super duper colors, you know, <laughs> yeah. and so, yeah. and we're, I'm, we're always experimenting right. with those. My next, color, my next, yeah. my next pair is going to be that, that, that super duper green. We've I been know. Talking about. I can't wait to see it. Um, let's talk about the, the, the outriggers yeah. here for a sec. So mm -hmm. you have some outriggers that make the speaker very stable. They're yep. decoupled from the speaker. Correct. And then you have different footer options, which right. if folks want to upgrade the footers, which I, really recommend on right. any speaker it makes a big difference but yeah. it comes with your standard spikes absolutely this for this price point the, this comes with the aircraft aluminum um, outriggers which yeah. are amazing yeah they are same that we that's used in a lot of isolation products yeah. from, from very expensive companies yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then we have our proprietary designed um, brass spike mm. which is wonderfully musical um, very neutral yeah um, it's coated in a black coat oh. to match oh, oh that's but what this um, is. but the beauty of something like this is um, you know the upgrade options that yeah. are possible yeah yeah um, and it makes a difference for transparency base response it, all the rest it, you know there are there are isolation uh, products out there that will transform this system yeah. and there's actually several reviews on this system with different products that that the reviewers were quite shocked at how much it improved but and, and I say that's a testament to the isolation product but I yeah. think it's also a testament to what the system yeah. can reveal yeah. the more you put into yeah. it so yeah Hey, <laughs> hey, somebody's here. Yeah, I think we got a delivery. All right. Hey, uh, on that, we'll wrap it up. Okay. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Another I beautiful pair of speakers. By. Scott Walker Audio coming yeah. to you from Riverside, California, Von Schweikert uh, Factory, yeah. connecting you to the moment. Hey, guys, um, to add on to the video that, that we were working on earlier, I, it, it, it occurred to me, Damon, that mm -hmm. we didn't talk about what's inside the speaker. Right. You can't see what's inside the speaker. Yeah. Uh, you'll never know as an owner of a product like this what's right. inside. So right. let's spend a minute and talk about what's inside because I'll tell you guys something. Um, the parts that they use inside their speaker, nobody uses these parts. Some people do, but no but it, one uses the level of quality of right. componentry that I'm aware of mm -hmm. that you guys do. And, and, and by, for, the, for the viewers here, I'm at their factory. I'm looking at crates and boxes of drivers, crossovers. I mean, they're everywhere back here. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what you have in terms of pricing and all this in here, but just here are some of the components, just a, a spattering of components that are inside that speaker. So Correct. like, I'm gonna pick this thing up right here. This is a Mundorf. Mm -hmm. You could order this part from somewhere in Asia, mm -hmm. right? For one hundredth of what this cost you. Well, yeah, it wouldn't be Mundorf, obviously. No. And it wouldn't be silver, gold, and oil. It would be, yeah. you know, foil capacitor. But it yeah. would serve that same purpose. Same value. You could buy it yeah. for pennies or maybe pennies. even pennies on the dollar. Pennies. This right. does not cost you pennies no. on the dollar. I can tell yeah. you that right yeah. now. It costs a hundredfold. Easily. Yeah. But the sound difference. Or, or 400 fold, depending on which one it is. Yeah. But the difference in sound's not believable. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. It's, and, and that's the critical part. You know, um, you know we're... When it comes to materials and designing, you know, we're trying to make the most neutral product possible with tonal accuracy, yeah. and this is part of it. The materials it you use are yeah. critical. Yeah. You can't see it, but you hear yeah. it. You definitely hear it. Yeah. Um, lastly, I know you guys have a good partnership with a uh, company called Masterbuilt. Correct. So you don't use the sh cheapest, shittiest wire no. that money can buy. <laughs> no. You use Masterbuilt cable. Correct. Inside of every one of your speakers. Every is that right? model. Every model. Um, except for the Ultraline, have our reference to, which is single crystal copper, six nines pure uh, copper. Yeah. Wonderful, uh, yeah. very natural, yeah. musical sounding. Yeah. And then the Ultraline has, of course, the yeah. Ultra Wire. Yeah. So 
you know that when you buy a Von Schweikert, you are buying the very finest drivers, right. cabinet, finish for sure, right. and uh, crossover components that, that you guys are aware of. I, 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 I agree with that. And I would even say that um, given our price points, there's a, a disproportionate uh, amount of, in, of quality in our components. Yeah for the price points well, we offer. Well, but when people listen to the speaker, it's so it natural. It should be evident, yeah. So transparent and so effortless sounding. Right. Proof's in the pudding, yep. as I used to say in the 70s. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, All appreciate right, thank it. You. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for the time. Connecting you to the moment.